Good morning. Welcome to Aging Acres Homestead. Today it's raining outside and I'm okay with that because I got all my garden work done. So now I have the opportunity to get some inside projects done or at least start some of the inside projects. One of them being a scullery. What is a scullery? It's traditionally a room in a house that people would use as an overflow kitchen and laundry room. For me, when we bought this house, it came with a an outbuilding right behind the house. It's a big white building and that's where we have our laundry room. I want to take you out there and show you what it looks like right now and kind of give you our plans on it. My husband and I have been slowly working on it since we moved in four and a half, almost five years ago. And I want to redesign it now that I've had the opportunity to get a little bit more acquainted with the homestead. Let's take a walk out there and I'll show you where it's at and what I want to do with it. Right now, we're coming out the back door into the screened in patio, out the front door or the front screen door, around the building. Here's all our pool decking that we'll be installing soon. Passing the pool deck up into our scullery. See the white building? We've been using it so far as just the laundry room. But this is our scullery. Let me turn the light on so you can have a better view of it. Right now, we have installed a little workstation. We keep one of our freezers in here, and then we have this big, long section and then we're back through the front door. In this section, right here, my husband and I, well, my husband will be building it, are gonna put up a little wall between the cabinet and the outlet. And the dryer and the little cabinet on the ground. And we'll be putting all of our pump and hot water heater and everything that's inside the pump house right now in this room. And there'll be a door right here in the middle. Our freezer will still be in there, but we'll just have to slide it back a little bit. That way, the rest of this is a working scullery kitchen and laundry room. Right now, we have extra storage and we keep our picnicking and extra toilet paper in here but right here I keep all my canning jars. And here is all my canning and extra big appliances. Let me close all the cabinets. <laughs> On this side, which is considered my laundry room side, I keep extra laundry stuff. As a matter of fact, I need to grab one of these for later. I 
I don't want to forget it, so I'm going to set it right there. But I keep my laundry stuff here. I have my homemade detergent recipes on the doors to make it a little easier. And then we keep extra napkins for our dispenser here. Now this is not a working sink just yet. However, it has the capability of becoming one. And with all the waterworks and pipes and such that's in here, here's right here for the wash machine and dryer, my husband just has to install a new faucet and hook up the the plumbing. And he just, this is my laundry section. In this cabinet, I keep all my tools and paints and equipment that I would need for inside the house. So let me go over what I would like to see happen in this room. First of all, we have to scrape off the ceiling, repaint the walls, the ceiling, and add new flooring just to beautify it a little bit. And once the pump equipment is inside here and the wall is up, this area right here will become my scullery laundry room. Right now, it's functioning mostly as just the laundry room and excess storage. But what I would like to see happen once Russell fixes the sink, on this side right here, I would like to use it as my canning station. I have a double cutting board off to the side Russell attached hinges to so I can open it up and it's double the the length and width and I can use that to set out on the counter and with all my canning equipment out here my pressure cookers my water bath canners all my jars and my freezer I have the double cutting board I can set this whole station up and do my canning out here my husband actually has one of those double burner outdoor kitchen stoves that we take for camping or we used to before we bought the camper. And I can set that out just outside the door and do my boiling and my pressure cooking out there. But I can have all my equipment set up and do all my canning in here. That way I don't have to, have to tote any of the equipment into the house. My frozen vegetables are in here. I can set up my big oven roaster, put it on the little cutting board and let my, my tomatoes roast down or my broth or whatever it is that I'm actually working on. And I can have the two burner stove set outside and do both cans if I want or just my pressure cooker. It'll just work. It'll be so much better. So for us to take what was, I hate to say this, but they stored all their horse food and hay and pig food, all of their animal food was in here with a washer and dryer and that's all they had. We added all the cabinets. We added the little um, air conditioner. We added the, the new light. The only thing we didn't do so far was change out the flooring or clean up the walls and the ceiling and paint. That's partly because I guess you could say I didn't know what I wanted from this room, but I know I needed the wash machine and dryer so we installed that. Then we came across the opportunity to get these cabinets to me, that was a game changer. I knew that I could actually take the cabinets and do something. Becoming acquainted with homesteading and canning and making something in my little teeny kitchen <laughs> without any counter space, I, res I decided to turn this into the scullery. Trying to can 
with the little bit of counter space I have in the house and the fact that I have to tote everything into the house from the storeroom, that was just too much work for me. So when I learned that I could turn this into a scullery, which I absolutely love the idea, it was a game changer for me. I knew that I could take this and make it work. Now, it would probably be even better if Russell installed a little teeny stove in here for me, but I think that's going just a little bit too far. The two burner campfire stove or the little burner thing that you use when you go to fry your turkeys, we have both of those and I can use either of them in here. Whatever I want to can, I can process it all in here with everything at my fingertips. The only thing I don't have is the stove. The working faucet, the counter space, having everything just right there at my leisure. I can pull it out and set it on the counter and chop, chop, chop. It's just, it just works. And I'm really excited about this opportunity. I did say that we were in the process of. So what I mean by that is, I'm still trying to decide what flooring, what color paint, um, once Russell has the faucet all hooked up and the hot water heater and the pump, all that in here. We don't even have to put that in here yet just to have the everything functioning for me. I have electricity, I have running water, and I have my freezer and all my materials accessible. So it's a matter of just coming out here and doing it. And I'm excited about the fact that I have the freedom out here. I can leave the door wide open and or turn on the air conditioner and I'm not in the heat of it. But it, this is just exciting for me. And then I can use these cabinets to actually, if I want to contain all my canning jars, but I also have a storeroom for that. Let me show you what we're gonna do to make it more accessible from the house. Come on, I'll show you. Right now, the pump house, holds all of our pumping, pump equipment. Right here, where the window is, we're gonna install a sliding glass door. We will then have the porch that steps down onto the pool deck that runs over to the pool and the side of the scullery and then we'll be able to walk right to the scullery from there. So it's accessible right there from the kitchen, boom, to right there. The pump house will be gone. The pool deck will be installed. Look at Finley. <laughs> My puppy's being cute. So we're taking what was and trying to turn it into what can be making what somebody else built function for us. And I'm really excited about that. Having to move back into the house, all the way around the house has been not really difficult because right now when I go to do my laundry, I literally got to carry my laundry baskets all the way through the patio, all the way around the house. That will become our sliding glass door. And this countertop will then be turned long ways up against that wall. Let me try to set this up. Right now, I have a little bit of counter space to do some things. This breakfast bar acts as my little island right now. However, when I need to get something from the pantry, I have to walk around the breakfast bar, around the dining room table to get into my pantry. So what I would like to see happen, install the sliding glass door, cut the breakfast bar down to here, 
and then have it rotated up against the wall right here. It'll stop at the end of the sliding glass door. And then I'll have open access from the sink all the way to the pantry, except the dining room table, which I would then turn around and put it parallel right here, right here. It'll become a part of, I guess, my workstation. So that's the design ideas that I have for the scullery, for the inside of the kitchen, and it all will come a little at a time. Right now, the first thing I need is a working faucet out there, and then I can actually start all my canning process right there in the scullery. The kitchen functions now, but it'll function so much better once I have the countertop and the sliding glass door done. So with all of that being said, stay tuned hopefully for some future projects and more on the scullery and the laundry room adventure. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.